Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray. Check it out, guys. I got a little, got some more equipment for my Super Duty here. Listen, it took me a while to really research and figure out what's good for me as far as my towing system. And I came up with three products that I ended up picking up and I want to share with you guys. All right, as you can see in front of you, I have the Kurt, what do they call it? The adjustable channel mount. All right, tow hitch pretty much. All right. Also, I have the bolt key lock system and I have the rocket strap system but I'm just gonna show you my setup pretty much this is what this video is gonna be about all right I'm a beginner tower if that make any sense all right I haven't really told a lot of big items so this summer coming up actually this holiday season I'm gonna be towing a big trailer um, and I'm excited and doing this all right so these are the things I came up with and if you're researching this type of project, if you just picked up a Super Duty and you're looking to figure out what you need for your towing system, this is what I have. So maybe you can cherry pick what you like and apply it to you. All right, guys, again, this is uh, Ray Place and I'm just about DIY, do it yourself and just sharing products that I'm into and hoping to share that information with you guys. And you, again, you can cherry pick what you like about it. You can disregard what you don't like about it and apply it to your life to make it a little better, all right? They always said knowledge is power, so sharing information just makes us a, us a better community, and that's pretty much it, guys. All right, so enough of me talking. Let's get into the products. Please consider like, subscribe, and let's go. Hey guys, this is Ray. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, we got a part two of my setup, my tow, my tow hitch setup, pretty much I'm calling it. All right, this is going to my Super Duty Ford Trimmer, and I just installed my Kirk tow hitch. All right, this guy, this is rated for over 20, 20K. I think it's well in, enough for me and what I'm towing, and it looks pretty good to me also. All right, so really enjoy this guys if you consider pick something up like this please check out that video i'll put a put a link some place in this um, it's a part of the trauma playlist so if you want to see everything i'm doing to this truck check out that playlist i think it'll be very informative and, but enough of me talking let's talk about this bolt now what i like about this bolt here guys is that it works with your existing key all right with my with my key and that would turn me on to this or what i pretty much like about this as you know guys with these uh tow hitches these things are not cheap all right so uh people out there who are in the towing world know what these are know how important it is to a towing system and you want to protect it all right as unfortunately you know we wish we can keep it on like this and hopefully no one will ever mess with it but you know this time and age you know we just got some dishonest people out there so you want to protect it and so that's why I came across this. So what we're gonna do guys, we're gonna open it up. Uh, we're gonna see how it fits and we're gonna utilize it. Now with this guys, just to let you know, all right, this is the one time use. Once you insert your key in this, it's permanent lock. You can't change it, you can't reset it. And that kinda, that's a good and a bad. I wish you can because if I ever wanted to uh, change this or put it to some, if I end up selling the vehicle, getting another vehicle, this pretty much is going to have to go with the vehicle because I can't use it again. So it's a pretty much a one-time use. So it is what it is, but that's why I bought it, all right? I didn't want a bunch of keys. I like having one single key or using the app to turn in the vehicle, and that's it, all right? So let's get into this, guys. Let's open up. Let's take a look at it, and let's get it installed, all right? Again, guys, please consider like, subscribe, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, here it is. Again, it's the Bolt. 5.8 receiver lock, all right, waterproof, it works for Lincolns and Ford, all right, the model number is here, 7023585, all right, so again, guys, if you consider picking an item up like this, please, there'll be a link below, click on that link, it'll take you to this product, and if you pick it up, guys, it does support the channel, I greatly appreciate it. It is guys just pretty much nice and nice finished steel all right guys here's the the item the heart of it 
All right. And that's there. It said, do not remove until ready to cold. Only insert key intended for everyday use. All right. So remember, guys, you can't, don't try to switch up keys. Once you put a key in this, that's it. It's a wrap. All right. And that's the other end. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this off here. All right, guys. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to insert my key. All right. I'm going to turn it all the way clockwise until it stops. And that's it. Now it's locked. All right. So now this is this lock is now connected to this key. All right. And that's it. One time use. So let's get this installed on the hitch. All right. And see how it looks. And it's not going any further. Wait. Hold on. Maybe. No. Uh. Wait a minute. Maybe I use an error. Hold on. Maybe it does fit. All right. Hold on. It does fit. All right. That was user error, guys. What you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to lift up your hitch and really push it in, all right, to get it slided in. So that was pretty much user error. Whew. I thought I was gonna be out of some money here. <laughs> there it is. All right, guys. Now what you can do, you can push, push it back now. Oh, so it does fit. All right, so that was user error. My mistake. All right, and that's it guys, there it is. It fits very nicely. Again, what I was doing wrong is that I had to lift this up and really push it all the way in so it engages. But that's it guys, it's set there. Now this is hitch is properly secure, it's not coming off. It's very weather sealed. Cover it up and that's it guys. So. Guys, I hope this is helpful for you guys. Again, consider, make, make sure you uh, scan this to make sure it fits your vehicle. If you own a Super Duty 2020, it should fit. It does fit, I shouldn't say it should fit. It does fit, all right? It definitely works. It's now key to my key, so I don't have to worry about ca carrying another additional key. And that's pretty much it. So, guys, consider like, subscribe, and I'll check you on the next one later. Okay, guys, also want to give you another little tidbit. This is also, you can use it if you have, I guess, the higher package, the push start vehicle with the button. Use, they tell you to use the glove box key to program or to code this lock. So, you still can get this lock, but you're just going to have to use your glove box key to utilize this lock all right so that's a good look so it doesn't forget you guys out there on programming this key so just want to share that information with you and again guys check you on in the next one all right next video guys just a tidbit end up picking up uh, two packs of heavy duty three-quarter shackles i'm gonna add this to the tow package and so stay tuned for that next video guys all right see you on the next one later